Hey loves and happy love day. Today's look is going to be a classic red lip look because I know for Valentine's Day and just date night in general, red lip is a staple. It makes a woman feel confident, super sexy, and you just cannot go wrong with the perfect red lip. Now for the eyes, I just wanted the eyes to be simple, just bright eyed, but definitely the focus is the lips. So I really hope that you enjoy this look and let's get started. The primer that I'm going to use is going to brighten my skin, so it's definitely going to complement the lips. We don't want to be looking all dull with nice bright lips, so make sure your primer is a little bit more brightening than usual, or even just really hydrating to make the skin look its best. Now for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Foundation. This is going to be more of a matte finish, and I do prefer more of a matte finish in this case because it is going to be a little bit more long wearing. So that gives me a little bit more control in where I'd like to add my glow. And having a primer underneath that's a little bit more glowy, the foundation doesn't end up looking really, really flat or dull. It kind of just gives a nice glow from within or kind of satiny look. So I always recommend adding something a little bit dewy underneath a matte foundation. And then for my concealer, I'm going to go a couple shades brighter because I do want a nice bright eye. I'm going to be applying that in the areas that I want to brighten my skin and kind of chisel out a couple of features as well. Okay, so I'm going to let my skin rest for just a second. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And I personally do not like a full drawn in eyebrow. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of concealer and I'm taking the concealer shade from the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. This is awesome because it already has a concealer built in and I know I'm going to use this palette so might as well just use what comes in it. So, so I do like to conceal just underneath my brow without filling in my brows first. And now I'm going to go into that palette, pick up a light shade, and I'm going to be applying that on my brow bone. This is going to be a matte shade, so I would start off with the matte tones just to brighten without adding any glow, and then um, you can always add the glow afterwards. So I added a little bit on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes. And now I'm going to move on to a little bit of a bronzer. And I take my bronzer shade because I know that I'm going to be using it on my face. So what I like to, so that's kind of like my trick for a very soft look is to add bronzer to your eyes, the same color that you're going to be using on your face because it's going to evenly distribute that tone throughout making the look a little bit more I don't know, a little bit softer a little bit more natural even because there's not a lot of different tones going on it's a lot it's very smooth throughout your face so I definitely recommend using the same bronzer that you are going to be using on your face as a transition shade and the way I'm applying it is gonna be more halo shaped so inner corner and outer corner is the focus so once you have that tone blended in beautifully, you can go in and pick up a shimmer shade. So the shimmer shade, I'm applying it just in the very center of my lid and I'm pulling it up all the way up to my brow bone. And the reason for this is that it kind of gives the eyes a very dimensional look. The eyes look almost glossy or like they just have a lot of brightness to them so that is why I'm bringing it up all the way to the top and what you do to the top don't forget to do to the bottom now I'm going to be applying a couple coats of mascara me personally I'm not a huge fan of lashes especially for date night I want to feel 100% just comfortable and more myself so I definitely don't want to apply lashes for today's look um, but what I am going to do is apply a couple coats of mascara and make sure that I really curl those lashes to make them pop as much as possible. But if you are a little bit more comfortable, I definitely recommend um, adding some lashes or maybe some liner to this look, whatever you want.
Okay, so moving back over to my eyebrows, um, I like to just take a simple brow gel. This is from Anastasia. Um, I started off just doing a little bit of brow gel, but then I decided that I wanted to lightly fill them in. So I'm actually taking that same brow gel and with a brush, I'm just taking um, the actual gel itself and just drawing in or lightly, lightly filling in my brows. Okay, so now that I'm done and I've let my foundation sit and rest for a little, I like the foundation to set on its own before I go in with any powder. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just applying that to the under eyes. Now I'm going to pick up a second powder. This is the Hydro Blur from Becca. This is a nice smoothing powder. So again, it's not really to set the face. It's mainly just to blur any imperfections. Um, if you have large pores or if you have fine lines, this is great to just soften and blur the skin. So now that you have your canvas nice and even and soft, we can go in to add a little bit of color. So going back into that bronzer, I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones. And I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going to just soften the edges around my nose. Now for blush, I'm taking the California. This is one of my favorite blushes because I feel like it really complements my skin tone. I really like a nice bright blush. So now I'm going to go into a highlighter. I wanted to use a liquid highlighter because we've already applied a lot of powder. So when I feel like I've over powdered my face or starting to look a little bit dull, I like to apply a liquid highlight. The trick to liquid highlight, especially if you've already set your complexion, is taking a beauty blender and really just lightly pressing the beauty blender into the skin. Of course, the star of the show. Don't focus too much on what I'm personally using because every person has the perfect red that you know goes really well with you. If you don't, then there are thousands and thousands of reds to choose from. So it sounds overwhelming what you want to do is just focus on a color that has a certain undertone so for example i have a really warm undertone so i want my red to have a warm undertone and vice versa so that's how you're going to find the perfect red and shade level of red i feel like it's totally up to you if you want a dark red to a really light red or level of intensity from really opaque to really sheer is all based on your personal preference so have fun go look for your perfect red and I'm pr i promise you there's a perfect red for you i hope that everyone has an awesome time on valentine's day if you don't have a date or if you do if you are your date then please enjoy your day have a beautiful beautiful valentine's day and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video love you Mwah.